Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Wicks with Wonder Read Aloud number 44. Uh, we're going to read two chapters. The first one is called The Fifth Grade Nature Retreat. And then the next one is called Known For. And these are both from Augie's point of view. Every year in the spring, the fifth graders of Beecher Prep go away for three days and two nights to a place called the Broarwood Nature Reserve in Pennsylvania. It's a four-hour bus drive away. The kids sleep in cabins with bunk beds. There are campfires and s'mores and long walks through the woods. The teachers have been prepping us about this all year long, so all the kids in the grade are excited about it, except for me. And it's not even that I'm not excited, because I kind of am. It's just that I've never slept away from home before, and I'm kind of nervous. Most kids have had sleepovers by the time they're my age. A lot of kids have gone to sleepaway camps or stayed with their grandparents or whatever. Not me. Not unless you include hospital stays, but even then, mom or dad always stayed with me overnight. But I never slept over at Tata and Papa's house or Aunt Kate and Uncle Poe's house. When I was really little, that was mainly because there were too many medical issues, like my trach tube needing to be cleared every hour or reinserting my feeding tube if it got detached. But when I got bigger, I just never felt like sleeping anywhere else. There was one time when I half slept over at Christopher's house. We were about eight, and we were still best friends. Our families had gone for a visit to his house, and me and Christopher were having such a great time playing Lego Star Wars that I didn't want to leave when it was time to go. We were like, please, 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 can we have a sleepover? So our parents said yes, and Mom and Dad and Via drove home. And me and Christopher stayed up till midnight playing until Lisa, his mom, said, okay, guys, time to go to bed. Well, that's when I kind of panicked a little bit. Lisa tried to help me go to sleep, but I just started crying and I wanted to go home. So at 1 a.m., Lisa called mom and dad, and dad drove all the way back out to Bridgeport to pick me up. We didn't get home until 3 a.m. So my one and only sleepover up until now was pretty much of a disaster, which is why I'm a little nervous about the nature retreat. On the other hand, I am really excited. This chapter is called Known For, and it's really short. I asked mom to buy me a new rolling duffel bag because my old one had Star Wars stuff on it, and there was no way I was going to take that to a fifth grade nature retreat. As much as I love Star Wars, I don't want that to be what I'm known for. Everyone's known for something in middle school. Like Reed is known for being really into marine life and the oceans and things like that. And Amos is known for being a really good baseball player. And Charlotte is known for having been in a TV commercial when she was six. And Zamena is known for being really smart. My point is that in middle school, you kind of get known for what you're into, and you have to be careful about stuff like that. Like Max G and Max W will never live down their Dungeons and Dragons obsession. So I was actually trying to ease out of the whole Star Wars thing a bit. I mean, it'll always be special to me, like it is with the doctor who put in my hearing aids. It's just not the thing I want to be known for in middle school. I'm not sure what I want to be known for, but it's not that. That's not exactly true. I do know what I'm really known for, but there's nothing I can do about that. A Star Wars duffel bag, I could do something about. Next chapter is called Packing. 